the first thing I want to say is there is a polka band coming later on. So, just so you know. All right. So I just want to give a quick presentation on um, uh, where Interconnection is from, how we started, um, some of our accomplishments, and, and where we're going, sort of the future of Interconnection. Um, but first I want to start with um, just a, a, some brief details on, you know, what does Interconnection do, what's our mission, you know, what motivates me, um, you know, why this organization exists. And I think I can do that with, through, through basically just, just one example of one of the shipments that, that we've done. So several years ago, I, I, I shipped some computers to, to Paraguay. And you know, I have a special fondness for Paraguay because my, my wife's from Paraguay and I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Paraguay. But kind of beyond that, I still work with a lot of charities and so forth in Paraguay. Um, the unique thing about this shipment was I was actually able to go to Paraguay and see the computers being used by the charity that we shipped them to. I, I, unfortunately, I don't get to travel to all these great places where the computers are going, um, but this case I did. Uh, and this charity, uh, what they did is they, they helped children whose parents worked in the city uh, and gave them a place to be when the children or when the parents were off, off working. And, now, and, and this charity was located out in the outskirts of the city and basically the parents would have to take like a two hour bus ride to get to town. They'd work all day long and they'd come back at eight o'clock and in the meantime the kids really had no place to go. It was kind of like a, a boys and girls club but in you know, a third world which is pretty basic. So, uh, so basically the, 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 the charity supported these, these children. Gave them some food during the, during the day, gave them some training but it was a really basic rustic setting. I mean, there was like, I got there, I was really surprised. I mean, the kids were eating from cracked bowls. They were, you know, having a little bit of noodles to eat and so forth. And so it was really uh, amazing, or not amazing, but um, uh, shocking. But so we, so we donated computers to them. And the computers had arrived before I got there. And when I was there, I could see that the kids were actually using the computers to, to learn about a world outside of their little community. They were, you know, the internet connection, uh, the, the connection was slow, the internet connection was really slow, but it was still good enough to send emails and so forth. They were able to, you know, gain skills. They were able to, to, to use the computers as a tool for increasing their, their learning capacity and increasing their opportunities. And, and that happens all the time with, with the computers that we ship. Unfortunately, I don't get to see all the different stories that happen, uh, but it happens, you know, around the world. And, and so that's kind of the gist of what we do, is basically we take stuff from companies and individuals in Seattle, we put it on you know, containers or whatever, we ship it to these remote places, and it's about creating a connection between people that have lots of stuff and often throwing that stuff away, and then connecting it with people that need that stuff. And so it's, it's interconnection. It's, it's about creating opportunity through, through, through reuse, through, through um, you know, resources. So, how did all this start? <laughs> Back in 1997, uh, I was living in Costa Rica. I was doing an internship for a uh, for an ecotourism de um, organization down there. They developed ecotourism projects, and and one of the things that that we did, and the organ and I, you know, I did was was develop websites for these organizations in the middle of nowhere that nobody really heard about, but they were doing great stuff. They were sending, they were doing these little small community-based tourism projects. But nobody heard about them. And then we built a website for them. And then within months, people would start coming to these projects. Because this was 97 when you could build a website and actually people could find the website. You didn't have to pay Google a whole lot of money to like advertise your site. So you know back then, you know, the internet was extremely powerful thing, and that was kind of like my aha moment. It was like, wow, this, this internet thing is powerful. You know, there, there, you know, technology is powerful. It can really help people. So, when I got back to the States in 99, I, I started Interconnection. I started the nonprofit, And there I am 10 years ago. And this was the first, the first website of, of uh, Interconnection. So, uh, you can see it was, it, it really had nothing to do with Computers at that time, it was more all about websites and creating this connection. And, 
Uh, kind of the funny part of this is the very first interconnection office was above the Tractor Tavern in Ballard, so it was a very convenient for breaks, <laughs> that sort of thing. So, although I had to leave at about eight o'clock when the music started pumping. In. So, you like that? <laughs> so, like I said, so at the very beginning, it was all about websites and donating websites, and it had a, this thing called the Virtual Volunteer Program that matched people with web skills here in the states with people who needed websites in, in, in the developing country. Very successful program. We donated about 120 laptop or websites. Uh, increased the visibility of you know the organizations. Helped a lot of different groups. But one of the things that the organizations kept telling me was. Is, Hey, it's great to have this website, but we don't have any computers to access them. You know, it's great to have a site, but we got to go to the, you know, the library to even, you know, use our website. So that's when I started to, to basically ship computers. It was really, you know, one, two at a time, laptops, that sort of a thing. But there, but there was this need of, of computers and technology. So slowly but slowly, we started to ship computers. In 2005, I opened up a center in Fremont. Um, on 35th Street, and this is the very first warehouse. As you can see, it was pretty rusty. So we're, our, our benches were made out of pallets that my dad helped me build. Uh, the computers were on basically uh, uh, these wooden crates. Uh, you know, things were kind of haphazardly done, but, but we made it work. And at the very beginning, I had some really good partnerships that really helped, helped get things going, and that was you know, Total Reclaim. They started giving us computers. And I also got a bunch of stuff from uh, Microsoft Community Affairs. And so that was kind of the spark that really, you know, got things rolling. 2007, we moved to the facility that was over in, uh, on Pacific, which was a bigger place. We were there for five years. Things started rolling once again. We, we, we uh, developed the, the, the training program, which teaches people how to, you know, fix computers. Um, we, we, our production got better, started being able to, you know, crank out lots and lots of computers. Got into more of the recycling and things obviously really started to grow. So I was establishing relationships and, and obviously, you know, things kept progressing. And here we are now, 2011, in this, you know, facility. Things look more or less organized uh, and, and, you know, are continuing to grow. So that's where things started and I guess where we are today. And so what has happened during this period of time? These are some of the accomplishments. So we've shipped, you know, as Tim said, we've shipped 25,000 computers. What does that mean? Well, we've, we've, we've helped at least a quarter million people because every computer is not used by one individual. Generally, it's used by 10 people, especially in the school environment. 3,600 people have gone through our training program in the Seattle area. And then we've, we've properly recycled over 100,000 computers. So... Pretty, pretty phenomenal. But once again, what does that mean? What do those numbers mean? So once again, I want to show you uh, some of the some of the stories, some of the some of the ways that all of this work has helped people, you know, around the world. You know, an, uh, an example is we shipped some laptops to Peace Corps volunteers uh, in Namibia, and they gave uh, the laptops uh, they, they were using as the laptops as a way to teach people about HIV. Uh, prevention and education, because the laptops are kind of a hook to get people to, you know, to get youth you know, interested in, 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 in reading about it. A couple years ago, we shipped 4,000 computers to schools in Chile, uh, and that was you know, obviously massive, massive um, uh, uh, project that, that um, uh, really you know, progressed things. Uh, we've also worked with Peace Corps around the world. Uh, Belize, Cameroon, Western Samoa, uh, pretty much everywhere you can think of, the places you don't even know about, like Vanuatu and Burkina Faso. I mean, I, I look at a map for those. <laughs> also, uh, more recently, got into disaster relief. So, one of the first things actually we did related to the disaster relief was we donated a whole bunch of computers in, 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 uh, during um, after Katrina. Uh, we sent a bunch of computers to New Orleans. But more recently, we've shipped computers to Haiti. We've shipped computers to uh, Pakistan, Chile, after these, these, these horrible uh, uh, events. Uh, we also, uh, last year, we partnered with Dell, HP, NetHope, and, and Microsoft to ship laptops to aid workers in, in Japan. So we shipped 250 laptops to aid workers in Japan. So. Uh, we've also partnered with uh, Microsoft Community Affairs to ship... Uh, some of their surplus computers to organizations that they support around the world. So we've done shipments to Vietnam, Chile, 
And even locally, we work with the, the, the Quillahoot Senior Center uh, and the Boys and Girls Club. And, and over there, there's a shipment that we're working on now that's going to the, to the Czech Republic. Uh, and more recently, we've been working with TechSoup. TechSoup is the largest uh, provider of non, or large, largest provider of technology to, to nonprofits in the nation. So they're a nonprofit themselves, and they give donated software to other nonprofits. And now they're they're providing refer, uh, refurbished computers to nonprofits in the nation. And so that's dramatically increased our scope. And in fact, we've shipped computers in 46 states, except for Alaska, and North Dakota, and South Dakota. I guess they don't need computers there. I don't know. <laughs> All right, and so how, how, how has this happened? Well, it's obviously not just me. I mean, it, it, it's all about the, the partnerships, the volunteers, uh, and the staff, right? I mean, we've got, a, we've got a tremendous group of volunteers that are coming in every single day, learning about computers, gaining skills, and helping us out. We have numerous corporate, corporate uh, partners, uh, corporate donations. You know, we get product from uh, like Nintendo and, and, and those sorts of companies that, that, that um, give us items. Uh, and our partners, like some of the some of the groups that I just mentioned, like you know, Microsoft, um, TechSoup, and, and Total Recall, um, and obviously the staff is, has been tremendously supportive, uh, and as long as the board of directors. And so our future, where does where is all this? What's going to happen? Interconnection. Where do, where do we want to go next? Um, you know, some, some kind of uh, exciting things are we'll be launching this A-plus hardware certification program, and, and uh, that is a, a, a industry-known certification that relates to hardware. So anybody that's looking for a job that says they have A-plus on their resume, there's a better chance that they're actually going to get a job because, it's like I said, it's, it's very well known. Um, we're also launching a computer grant program for local recipients that will be able to uh, get computers to the hands of more people. We'll have expanded technology offerings. That means we're going to be offering better computers. We'll be offering different products. We'll be offering different technology. And right now we're offering them a, we'll, we'll be offering a thing called multi-point, which allows uh, one computer to support various uh, uh, different seats or different users. It virtualizes the desktop on, on different screens so that you can ship one computer, but it can support like 10 users or 10 uh, it's a bit complicated, but just wait and see. It'll be cool. <laughs> uh, also, directed giving, which which means a corporation will be able to say, "Hey, we want to help. We want all of our computers to go to Boys and Girls Club, or we want all of our computers to go to TechSoup." It'll 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 allow the donors to leverage their donation to direct the donation, and and they'll have control over it. Uh, and also, obviously, want to continue to strengthen these partnerships that that we've established over the years. So, once again, thanks for all the support, but now it's time for the ask, right? You gotta, that's what nonprofit guys do. So, so Interconnection is a, is a unique nonprofit organization. It's not one that's, that's uh, funded by, or we don't pursue cash donations, although you, if you have cash that you want to donate, you know, no problem, right? But we don't pursue grants, we don't pursue cash donations. We're a 100% self-sustainable organization, which is pretty unique in, in, in the nonprofit world. But what we do need is, is computer donations and computers. Basically, computers are what drives this engine, is what keeps this place going, it allows us to, to give computers to people in need, and it also is, is a revenue generator in terms of the, re of the recycling and other ways that we can we can generate revenue off of it. So that's basically the, the, the way that you can support the organization by telling um, you know, the, your places where you, the place where you work, telling your IT person, spreading the news, um, and just, just getting the word out, just letting people know about what we do and, and, and that we do, uh, you know, what they can do with their computers. So, so that's it. Hopefully it wasn't too long. And obviously we got lots of, lots of beer, lots of sausage, and polka band. So, thank you, and we have a few more speakers, so, thanks.